At the end of the main story for Suicide Squad, Brainiac is captured. The squad beat the league, and all that's left is to kill the remaining Brainiacs. Mission accomplished, basically. But then, right before the captured Brainiac is killed, he says this. Hey there friends, and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Specifically, Lex Luthor, or should I say, Lex Tuther. Real quick before we get started, we are only 800 subscribers away from 7k, so if you do enjoy the video and you want to see more stuff similar to this, leave a like and subscribe so that we can continue doing videos like this. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. For the sake of simplicity for the remainder of this video, Earth-1 Lex will be referred to as Lex since his company is called LexCore, and Earth-2 Lex will be referred to as Luther since his company is called LutherCore on that Earth. Pretty early on in the story in this game, you meet Lex, who then immediately kills his employee, so he can't tell Waller his plans to stop the League. Lex then pretty swiftly gets captured by Flash, and you have to go and save him. Then, it's revealed, Luther has found a way to beat Flash, but it's not enough to protect Lex, and, well... Now, it's pretty logical to assume Lex came up with and made this device on his own. I mean, he is a genius. But throughout the early parts of the game, you can hear Batman talk about Lex's informant on the radio. It's later revealed when you reach Earth 2 that Luther is the informant. Now, we need to talk about Earth 2 in general, because while there aren't a lot of differences, some of them are pretty major. First off, I already mentioned the fact that Lex Corp is called Luther Corp on this Earth. But in this world, not only is Wonder Woman seemingly the leader or main member of the League from this poster, the designs are very different from our Earth-1 League. This League seemingly also has had two separate designs in this world, which also implies that they have existed for longer. How does that imply that? Well, let's just quickly go over all of the League's outfits in this. Starting with Batman in the Hall of Justice. Batman has a much more classic bat suit with the yellow oval symbol as well as as well as a more classic cowl design. While the posters for Justice Day, which are assumedly much newer, he has the same outfit as the Earth-1 Batman. Superman, while we don't get a good look at it as it is partially under rubble like a lot of the others, also has a different suit. It is very similar to his Injustice suit or one of them, and the poster has his Earth-1 design as well, similarly to Batman. Wonder Woman, meanwhile, has her classic design here, while her poster design is her Earth-1 suit with silver instead of the gold. Lantern statue is, as far as I can tell, the same on both statue and poster, which makes sense given the suit is made by the ring. Wally, aka Flash, is much more interesting as his statue has his original Flash design while the poster has his rebirth design. You could also say that the statue is of Barry and Wally more recently had become the Flash. The reason that this is important is to show how different the Earths are from each other. The fact that the main league most likely was only around for one to two years, while this league was around long enough to have changed costumes at least once, shows their league existed much earlier in the timeline and much longer. Immediately when you find Luther on this Earth, he says he has been alone for three years. Assuming he's completely telling the truth, Brainiac invaded Earth 2 more than three years ago, but also has defeated it three years ago. Which means, at minimum, the League on this Earth would have had to have formed an extra three years earlier and most likely has been around a lot longer. Based off of Batman's outfit, you could assume that it was much earlier in Batman's career, as well as Superman and Wonder Woman's faces seemingly looking a lot younger on their statues as well. Now, Luther claims he is the one and only survivor of this universe. The game specifically points out the fact that he claims this, not that it is factual. Going to Luther in the Codex, it states claims to be the only notable survivor of this Earth. Two very important things here. Obviously, like I said before, it says it specifically cl says claims, not that he is. There is also the fact that it says notable. With any story from someone, you cannot take something as complete fact not only because they may not have the whole story, but because they have their own biases as well. Who, in his opinion, is notable? Well, 
Lex is a bit of a narcissist, so he probably wouldn't count Minnie as notable to begin with. So it's highly likely that there are some pretty important people still alive hiding somewhere on Earth too. Most likely not League members, as he would probably consider those notable. Now, if you look at Lex's page, his full name is stated as Alexander Joseph Luther, but Luther's merely says redacted. There's a few possible reasons for this. His name could just slightly be different, having a different middle name or something, but if that was the case, then why is it redacted in the first place? What reason would there be for that? And if it was just the same name, it would just say that. So something is clearly being hidden there. He certainly acts like Luther, but there is definitely something off with this. We don't exactly know what happened on Earth 2. Luther really gives very little information about it in the game, but I think it's pretty clear that Luther had a large role in what happened, possibly even being the reason for Brainiac being brought to Earth in the first place, and most likely Brainiac being from that Earth as well. There's even a line where Brainiac says how he's seen Luther's work before and betrayal is his modus operandi. Oh, did Luther make some sort of bargain with Brainiac and betray him? That would explain his reaction when he sees him again at the end of the game. He also somehow knows both Arkham Shot and Squad Shot more than Squad Shot does in his own words, which we are going to talk about soon, but how exactly would he know any of what's going on there with there being a dead shot from another universe somehow on this Earth if he's never been to this Earth and was one of these two dead shots from his Earth? He says no when Deadshot asks him, but that doesn't mean he's telling the truth. We're clearly not being told everything about Luther, both by Luther and by the game itself. It's clearly keeping something big hidden. But at the end of the day with Lex Luthor, in any universe, he can be counted on for one thing, and that is to do whatever best benefits him, no matter who else it puts at risk. I would in no way be shocked if right when we defeat the final Brainiac, if Luther takes the tech for himself and tries to kill everyone and take over Earth or the multiverse or whatever. And it is only a matter of time until we found out the truth about what happened on Earth 2 and what Luther did there, because he's cl very clearly responsible somewhat for what happened there, probably responsible in some way for what's happening across these Earths that Brainiac is destroying. Anyways, that's it for the video. Um, we don't have a definitive answer yet, and I really wish I had one for you. Um, I thought I found something because there was a QR code on Lex's uh, little device, and I was like, oh, that's got to be a hint about uh, Lex Toothers stuff, but it was just, uh, it just led to the Rocksteady site, so that was disappointing, but they definitely are setting something up related to Lex. Will we ever see that? I don't know, but, uh, anyways, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe. Anyways, I will see you guys next time, and goodbye.